Are you planning on going to France for the Bicycle History Conference? Not this, not this year. I mean, I'm You're thinking... You're shooting, shooting me there, are you? Yes, I am. Um, I actually, well, the thing is... You can just hold, you can just hold it there and let it roll. Right? Yeah, I know. And see what you've got later. Right. It's kind of good. Um, no, I just, I, I've actually, um, I've actually had an invitation to go to Australia in November. Uh-huh. And um, I'm quite interested in looking, having another look at Major Taylor's second season. Oh, yes. Because I realized that, that the two trips, the two winter trips to Australia, are actually very different from each other. Uh -huh. A close reading of the newspaper reports. And uh -huh. um, the, the first trip, he was very happy. He got lots of money, the racing wasn't too bad. But the second trip was terrible. Really? That was when Huge Deal Macintosh had had hired McFarland and Lawson to go as well. Uh -huh. So the whole thing was oh, sorry, excuse me. the whole thing was set up, you know, for the racing to be ferocious. Mm -hmm. And then all the racing was handicapped. So they put Major on scratch at the back, mm -hmm. and then they put Lawson McFarlane, who of course worked together, uh -huh. and and they also primed up the Australian races. Mm -hmm. So basically, uh, there were he, Major Taylor had one nasty crash. Lawson was disqualified on one occasion, and um, Major Taylor was telling the press at the end of the trip, "Don't don't expect me ever to go back to Australia again uh -huh. if the same people are in charge mm -hmm. of the racing." So, and then he just had his daughter, so he came back across the Pacific to San Francisco and then went across country by train. Which must have taken him two weeks at least. Yeah, an incredible trip. And then that was when basically he had a, a kind of a nervous collapse or a nervous breakdown. That was and, what uh, year? That was the spring of 1904. Uh -huh. So he didn't race. He didn't race 1904. He didn't race 1905. He didn't race 1906. Uh -huh. And then he had problems with the with the NCA, the National Cycling Association, for breach of contract. Uh -huh. He had problems with Breyer and Coquel in Paris for breach of contract because he was he was supposed to be going back 1905 uh -huh. for another season. So he had all kinds of problems. Mm -hmm. He didn't resolve all of those until the beginning of the 1907 season, uh -huh. which is when he went back to Europe again. Now I've so. read that, I've read that there's one of, the only bike that is verified as having been ridden by him hanging on the wall in a bike shop in a suburb of Sydney, Australia. It's possible. I mean, the, 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 it seems it seems feasible. It's, the, it's online. You could Google on it and find it. Really? What what it, what should I search for? Um. Gee. Major Taylor Bicycle Australia Punch Bowl. The suburb is called Punch Bowl. Pun uh, of Sydney. Yeah. I have I have the web link in my uh, email. Send me a link send when, it to when, you. when we get back. Oh, <laughs> but, um, anyway, so I I just figured that. You know, it's really expensive to travel these days. Oh yeah. And so, I, if I have to choose between going to Saint Etienne and going to Australia, I think I'll do the Australian trip. Well, do they pay you to go? They won't. No. Oh well. I mean, it'd be more expensive to go to Australia than to go to France. But right. I mean, I wish but I had, you know, disposable income, but. Yeah. You know. Well, the next year's conference will be here in the U.S., so that won't be so bad. I this is going to be the the year of Zimmerman. They want me to do a book on Zimmerman. Okay. I, I can do it actually. I have all the material. Well, it'll go be a, for it. It'll be a new. It'll be a sort of a new departure for me. I'll, 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 I'll do it. Um, I'll do it quickly. Mm -hmm. I'll just sit down and snap it off if I can. You know. I'm I'm thinking I may make a presentation at next year's conference. I have two topics in mind. One is some aspect of the history of the League of American Wheelmen, League of American Bicyclists within the past 30 years, yeah, that would be um, which interesting. I'm fairly knowledgeable about it. Well, you've been involved. Yes, and they're very interesting ups and downs. The other would be te technical developments in Molai speed internally geared hubs. Um, nah. No, no. You don't want to. You don't want to talk about hardware. Me. It's boring. No. It makes for a boring presentation. Talking about hardware. Um, I think. Unless, well, 
Why? Here's here's my angle. It wouldn't be very long, but here's my angle. Why designs have evolved the way they have? What were the engineering paradigms behind the design? That could be could be could be interesting. How many are left over there? <laughs> Uh, I, there are at least six or eight in the window. I think. There are Still? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I, I thought he only had four or five yesterday. Well, I mean, I mean, so this, is, this, this is the original hardbound edition. Can that I, is yeah. the original. Yeah, that's Rob Van der Plas's. Um, okay. Okay. That's Rob's. Um, Lucky man. Yeah, that's right. Signed by the author. Also signed by Gregor yeah. Mann.